even with its faults, OBS is such an incredible project, and I'm so happy the de facto standard streaming and recording software is FOSS. Yeah, there are some people that use XSplit and various other tools, but most people are using OBS. But like any code base out there, it's had its fair share of issues over the years, and even now, still has some issues. One such issue kept bugging me during my time on Wayland. Custom browser docs simply didn't work. The option was entirely disabled. This meant I couldn't embed websites into my OBS interface. Things like my stream chat, my stream metrics, a preview of the stream on the website I'm actually streaming on. But no such issue exists on X11. I can make as many docs as I want to. Now if you know about me and my history with OBS and Arch Linux, you would know that I've complained about OBS just not being packaged properly on Arch Linux and the Arch team simply refusing to fix it. But this isn't a problem that is because of Arch. This is a problem present in the Flatpak and happens on every single distro out there. Now I'm not blaming anyone for this or demanding that it gets fixed. I'm just trying to bring attention to this because this isn't a new problem. This didn't happen like three months ago, six months ago. This was first reported all the way back in 2021. Custom browser doc window under Wayland is transparent. So initially they weren't actually being disabled. This is the way they looked. So they just simply didn't work. At the time the user was on Fedora 33, but the exact same problem still happens in the newest version of Fedora and the newest version of Arch and pretty much every system out there. If you try to make a custom browser doc on Wayland with the browser docs enabled, the browser doc is just see-through. This is supposed to be showing the OBS website, but it's not. But interestingly, if you loaded up a YouTube link, for example, and had the audio playing, you could still hear the audio. So it's not like the docs were completely busted, it was some kind of graphical rendering bug. So for this browser embed support and all the browser functionality in OBS, it relies on a system called CEF, the Chromium Embedded Framework. This is the reason why the package doesn't work properly on Arch, because they shipped the wrong version of CEF Minimal. Now, nobody is really sure on the exact cause here. None of the developers on OBS are CEF developers. They just make use of CEF. One of the theories is, I suspect this problem exists because CEF is using X Wayland to render and then passing the contents to a Wayland application. This just can't go well, but it can be something else entirely. Whilst they weren't sure on the solution, they were pretty sure it wasn't a problem in OBS itself, and it's not something they can go and directly fix. So pretty much, there's only one thing left to do at this stage. Disable the feature, and wait for Upstream to fix it. But there are different ways you can go about disabling things. The first solution was by Georges Starakis. Disable browser docs on Wayland. This is in the OBS-Studio project. Disable browser docs on Wayland. When running on Wayland, the browser docs look broken and sometimes they crash OBS. Also, yeah, they sometimes crash OBS. Interestingly, browser sources seem to work just fine, which didn't really make any sense because both of those should be using CEF. Ideally, we'd be able to dig into the issue and find the root cause, but time is short for the 27 release, and disabling the docs until this is figured out seems the best alternative for now. That's the other thing, they were getting very close to the next major release, and unless OBS was going to delay it, something had to be done then and there. Of course, this is a temporary workaround, and eventually this commit will be reverted, and browser docs will work just fine, flowers and rainbows and happy unicorns. So his solution was basically just remove the option from the menu. It was still doing all the stuff in the background, but the user wouldn't be able to make any docs. But is this sufficient, considering that service integrations also use browser docs? Hmm. I wasn't aware of that. Let me check. This got marked as a draft, and eventually this isn't what they ended up going with. Instead, they went with this one over in the OBS browser project. Disable browser panels on Wayland by CG2121. Since the browser panels currently don't work on Wayland, disable them for now if the user is running Wayland. This one basically went all the way down. 
if it made use of the browser docs, don't just hide it from the UI, simply disable the browser doc functionality on the Wayland side, which didn't make the flat pack on Wayland as bad as the Arch Linux package, that didn't just break browser docs, it also broke browser embeds in the video as well. So I couldn't do things like embedding my stream chat on the video or my stream alerts and things like that. But it's like halfway to being as bad as Arch Linux. Now, let's keep some dates in mind. This merge quest was opened on April 8th, 2021. It was merged on my birthday, April 9th, 2021. But let's look at the main issue. It wasn't marked as waiting on CDF upstream until June 5th, 2021. So let's do a little bit of digging. This is the CEF repo. Let's go to the issue page and search for a couple of terms. Let's search for Linux. Okay, so July 22nd, July 21st. Let's go back a couple of pages, see if we can get close to it. Let's say page four. June 24th, 2021, okay, that's very close. April 30th, okay. Maybe we need to go back to page three. August 10th, okay, that's way too new. Let's search for another term. Let's search for OBS. July 8th, 2022, July 1st, okay. 2021, May 15th, that's close to the date, but completely unrelated. Let's search for Wayland. May 8th, April 4th, January 1st, okay, 2022, 2019. I don't think anybody reported the issue upstream. You know what? Let's search for the person who marked it as waiting on upstream. Let's see what we get. So we have these three issues. OSR invalidate does not generate frame after hiding slash showing browser. Maybe that's related. From 2018. I don't think that's related. Okay. Crash in cookie helper UI thread. This is from 2021, but makes no reference to Wayland. And this one is from 2022, so it's definitely not that either. Please, I have to be missing something, and if someone like Georges happens to see this video and knows that an issue has been created upstream, please let me know and I'll cut this section out of the video. But I cannot find an issue. It seems like nobody reported it. And if that is the case, they are waiting on an unreported issue to be fixed. So... They might be waiting for quite a while. Now, it turns out when we say the browser docs are broken on Wayland, we don't actually mean they simply don't work. They don't work if you make the application run as a Wayland application. But what if instead of doing that, you ran OBS through xWayland? You set QTQPA platform to XCB OBS. This will make OBS run through x instead. And now everything works like it should. We have the stream information doc, we have the chat doc, and I've replicated this exact same behavior myself, and yeah, this still works today. And if you desperately need browser docs and you desperately want to run OBS on Wayland, this is a better solution than them simply not working. The problem is it's not an optimal solution and isn't something they can force onto every single user. For one thing, it makes OBS no longer run as a Wayland application, instead using xWayland. The second reason is certain things tend to break. Yeah, I noticed it breaks OBS VK capture on NVIDIA. Works fine on AMD. Sounds like you just have an AMD card, but that is annoying if you want to be using it. And in case you're curious, this is OBS VK Capture. It allows you to go and capture Vulkan and OpenGL content directly, which generally just means game content. This tends to be a lot lighter than the systems built directly into OBS. Previously, I was aware of the problem when running OBS, but I wasn't aware of this issue thread specifically. The reason why we're here is because of this user here. They got in contact with me over on Twitter after they made this thread here. Browser Docs now works under Wayland when I revert the disable. They thought they had to disable the commit that disabled the functionality on Wayland, and then also do the same thing that Glorious Eggroll did, running OBS through X Wayland. So it's not actually running 
on the Wayland backend, it's instead running on the X11 backend. This got them into a bit of an argument with Titan 652, the person who makes the objectively better package for using OBS on Arch Linux, at least if you're not using the Flatpak. You are under X Wayland, so an X11 implementation, not Wayland. Yes, but that's still the only way to make the browser docs appear when your host session is Wayland. If I'd only ran OBS in X Wayland, screen capture wouldn't work. It worked with Pipewire and X Wayland. I'm not sure what they were trying to say here. Titan once again says, this is not Wayland, you are running it under X Wayland. Also, we do not support running under X Wayland. Let's not focus on the semantics, but on the results. The results are the same thing that Glorious Egg Roll did back here, where it works mostly, but it's a little bit buggy with certain additional plugins and is not something that's really suitable to ship upstream. But if you want to run OBS under X Wayland and have the browser docs work, you can absolutely go and do so, and you should go and test it on your system. A clean install of OBS should be perfectly fine, but certain plugins may be a little bit odd, like that VK Capture one. Really, the main plugins that should be odd are various capture plugins, and luckily, there's not a ton of them anyway. So hopefully because of this video, somebody out there who knows how to properly fix the issue can actually go and do so. Or maybe this gives a little bit of nudge for someone who is considering trying to work it out or something like that. Hopefully at some point this is actually working, but until then, if I wanted to stream on Wayland, X Wayland would do the job for me perfectly fine. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like OBS? Do you think it's a cool project? And, uh... Have you run into this issue? Yeah. If you like the video, don't like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I don't stream with FFmpeg. <laughs>